Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Stewart will address the guest and the company, followed by the Reputable Management Company Commander, Chief Warrant Officer Ford Duncan. Get out my notes here. <coughs> Colonel Flowers, Lieutenant Colonel Richardson, Lieutenant Colonel In Inbert, Sergeant Major Miller, Master Gunner Sergeant Chaldicus, you're out here somewhere. Master Gunner Sergeant Etherton, Sergeants Major, Master Gunnery Sergeant, Master Sergeants, CWO4s, Staff and COs, Officers, and Marines, thank you for coming today. Now I got through that part, I can switch to the next part. Okay, uh, I want to talk a little bit about, uh, about uh, the RMC. Uh, what is the RMC? You know, a lot, of, a lot of people ask me that. Before I came here, I didn't know. I, I didn't understand what it was, how big it was, uh, what we do here. I came here, and it's, I've been here for four months, and it actually has taken me four months to figure it all out. So now that I've figured it out, sir, I'm moving on. So, so, uh, so, but I got some notes here. I want to, I want to just kind of hit on some of the things that, that that make up the RMC and what we do. Uh, we're comprised of the RIP, which is the Repairable Issue Point, the uh, General Support Maintenance Company, and the Electronics Maintenance Company. Those used to be companies. They combined them all together, and now they form the RMC. So, uh, what we do is the RIP. Report, uh, supports the MEF, schools, base, everybody west of the Mississippi with secondary repairables. What a secondary repairable is, is you got a Humvee at the engine, you pull out the engine and you switch that out, that's a secondary repairable. A circuit card for a radio is a secondary repairable. So the supported unit takes out that engine or that, that circuit card, brings it over here to the RIP, and switches it out, and then they take their new circuit card and they put it back in the in the uh, in the radio, or they take their new engine, put it back in the vehicle, and then that's it. The IMA, which is the intermediate maintenance activity here, which consists of El Mako and GSM, the old El Mako and GSM, they take that piece of gear and repair it, and then put it back in the rip for the next guy to come and pick up their stuff. It's pretty simple, but. In order to make all that happen, a lot of Marines have to do a lot of things. And that's where we're, we're unique. Over at the RIP, there's 1,700 NSNs around, 1,700 NSNs, different secondary repairables, over $100 million worth of inventory in that building right there. There's uh, the GSM, which is, uh, is this area right here behind you, they fix everything that has an engine, okay? And I'm talking about AAVs, LAVs, Humvees, uh, generators, lawnmowers. Believe it or not, there are a couple of lawnmower engines in there right now getting rebuilt. Basically, if the Marine Corps has it and it has an engine, these guys can fix it. It's amazing what they can do. The next building over is the El Mako. Okay, the El Mako fixes everything electronic. We're talking about circuit cards, we're talking about radios, we're talking about uh, um, sites. If, if, a, if, a site, if a system on a vehicle has a circuit card, it can be taken out and it can be brought over here and they can fix it. Another thing, amazing what they do. Micro men, they, they get in there, they solder different layers of a circuit card, all kinds of stuff. And I'm getting into some really boring stuff right now, but hey, this stuff's exciting to us to the maintainers, it really is. And most of you out here are maintainers too, so you can understand that. You know, and, and one of the things that, that uh, one of the things that, that I think is, is unique about this is there's 33 different MOSs is what makes up the RMC. 33 different MOS, MOSs, 400 Marines. At any given time, there's 300 Marines on deck doing all these things, okay? And, and, and their mission is to support the, is to replenish the RIP so that the RIP can support the meth. They'll do whatever it takes. You're talking smart guys here and gals. Every Marine in this company is smart. We have no, we, we, we don't have any of those Marines, you know, that, that, that color with crayons and stuff. I don't know that any of those exist anymore, but, but they don't, they're not here, that's for sure. These are all smart Marines. And so, and so they, a lot of effort is put into 
supporting the MEF with those secondary, secondary repairables. And that's it. That, that's, that's in a nutshell what they do. So now everybody here understands it. I know you came in here and you said, you know what, I kind of know what they do, but now you know for sure. Okay. Uh, sir, if you don't mind, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, talk to the Marines. Thank you, Marines. I want to say I've been here for four months. Like I just said, and like I told you this morning, I learned a lot in the last four months here. Uh, I came here. I, I didn't quite understand what it is you do, and I didn't think it was that complicated. But now I see, now I understand it is a great undertaking, and you do an outstanding job every day. I appreciate all the support you've given me this whole this four months that I've been here, and I'll see a lot of you whenever we deploy in, uh, in the beginning of next year. I'd like to thank a few people here. I told the Marines I'd only take a couple of minutes, but I think I'm over already. I'd like to thank a few people here. Uh, sir, Lieutenant Colonel Richardson, thank you for allowing me to stay here as, as company commander for as long as you did. Uh, I know there's probably plenty of times you're pulling your hair out, but, but I appreciate you for, uh, for, for giving me that, uh, the, the vote of confidence to leave me here and to allow me to take 12.1. Thank you. Um, also, I'd like to thank uh, my XO and my OPSO, Chief Warrant Officer Brown, right here. Thank you. Uh, he's the one that brought me in when I came here and said, hey, sir, you can't be here if you don't know what's going on, so we got to start walking around and getting you spun up. And he did that. And I, I appreciate that. First Sergeant Torres, thank you. Uh, First Sergeant, for a few of the months that I was here, I appreciate all your support and, uh, and guidance and help. First Sergeant Garcia, for putting this whole thing together today and for your guidance and support over the last month. And all the officers and staff and COs and Marines of RMC, thank you. And most of all, my wife, Amy, uh, it, you know, we, we did a change of command about five months ago when I left Comp Squadron. And I told Amy, I said, you know what? This is the last time you have to come to one of these things and sit. And I said, the next time you have to do this will be when I retire. That's what I told her. But, you know, I, I lied again. <laughs> it, that's what I do. That's, it seems like that's what I do. I always tell her it's going to get better and all that stuff. And, and yeah, it just, it, I don't know. It, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, but thank you, Amy, for your support. And, uh, and without you, I could never... Uh, be standing here relinquishing a command and then taking another command. I could never do any of that stuff without you, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Now I want to introduce uh, the uh, um, Chief Warrant Officer, Chief Warrant Officer Duncan. He's, he is uh, taking over. Wait just a minute. i got to say some stuff. <laughs> He's... Uh, Chief Officer Duncan, is, he's been in the Marine Corps for a, a little bit longer than I have, about a year longer. He's got the experience. He's got everything it takes to be a company commander. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy to be turning this company over to somebody of his caliber. He is very patient. We were just talking about this the other day. It takes patience to, to do this job. It definitely does. And Chief Warrant Officer Duncan has that patience that it takes. He has the understand. He understands leadership. He understands uh, how to motivate Marines, how to get things done. He under he's, he understands how to be efficient, and that's what you have to do to be successful here at the RMC. So, so uh, uh, Chief Officer Duncan, um, I appreciate the support that you've given me over the last four months as well as one of the platoon commanders, and uh, I'm, I couldn't be happier to turn this over to you uh, today and for you to move on with uh, with the RMC. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Stewart. Uh, that's, a, that's a big piece to have to fill in here. Uh, I don't think I have the stage president. Uh, Captain Stewart does. Colonel Flowers, thank you for being here, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, what, 12, 13 years ago, you were my first battalion commander. It's a brand new woe. Uh, so I appreciate you coming out and saying hi. Colonel Richardson, I do appreciate uh, the opportunity to open a new chapter in my Marine Corps career, so thank you very much for that. Sergeant Major, hurrah. All right. Hey, Lieutenant Colonel Lindbergh, nice to see you, sir. How are you? Welcome back from the Mew. All right. Major Copley, again, thanks for the support you've always given me. And I know you had to tell the boss, yeah, he'd probably be good stuff doing this. So I appreciate that, man. Thanks a lot, sir. Yeah. Uh, to all the fellow uh, sergeants, majors, and 
Master Gunnery Sergeant, some of my best friends, uh, and all the other fellow Chiwos. I do appreciate all the support you guys have given me, uh, getting me to this position. Uh, every, every one of you have touched my life in one way or another, uh, whether it was just through personal relations or whether it was through actual work efforts. And I do appreciate all the support I got from you all getting to here. Uh, it, I, I couldn't have done it without me or without you. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows that I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I surround myself with smart fellows that help me out and get the things done that we need to do. So I do appreciate that. I'm sorry, I'm going to turn my back real quick and talk to the Marines. Uh, Marines, we all joined the Marine Corps for our own individual reasons. Um, but throughout our, our time in the Marine Corps, we all have a common goal, and that is to excel. Um, what I'm going to do while I am your, the company command, commander is to give you the outlet. I will be that uh, person that helps you excel. I'll be the one that challenges you. I'll give you all kinds of, all kinds of different things to do in all kinds of different directions. So uh, if you work with me, give me your 100%, I will give you my 100% tenfold back. So Marines, prepare yourself and get ready to march. Bruh. Ladies and gentlemen. That's it, sir. Thank you. Appreciate everybody being here. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of Anchors Away and the Marines Hand. Talk to all your Marines over there in the school circle. Uh -huh. <laughs> 